Hey everyone, this is Michael. And this is Steven. And we are the Movie Bros React. We are. We are. And we are reacting with all of you. And even the Carbonite Jedi's here tonight, as well as the Movie Bros. Yeah. That's so amazing. Um, oh, he sure is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Carbonite Jedi. What's up, dude? Hey. How's that lightsaber? Oh, it's 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 full effect, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, cheers, uh, cheers, <laughs> cheers, cheers. Uh, everyone, tonight, we're going to be watching a classic. Back to the 80s. Way back to the 80s, Michael. We're going back to our our childhood days, our formative days, if you will, of life. And this is one of those movies that was on our journey growing up. And it is, of course, what is it, Michael? Tell the people. It is The Goonies. It is The Goonies. And... It was voted on by the masses, uh, and uh, everyone chose this as our number one choice. I think this was the most people that have um, voted in our Thursday night poll. It is. We had 67. It's, yeah, 67. And, you know, for a little baby channel like we got here as we're growing, that's a pretty big number for us. So that, that was pretty cool. That's over 10%. So... We'll take that. That's that's a success. <laughs> You're over ten percent. So um, thank you guys for voting, and yes. uh, we appreciate that. So we're gonna, you know, it was really close. The Karate Kid was was not far behind, and I will not be surprised if we don't see the Karate Kid again <laughs> soon in the '80s polls because it's a it's an iconic film, uh, as is the Goonies. And it's been a long time, Michael. I don't know that I, I don't really remember this movie very well. I remember this movie in like pieces, like a scene here okay. or an image there. I can recall. I think as I start to watch it, it'll like, you know, you know, come back to you. Come back. Yeah, okay. I think so. But right now, I don't remember a lot of details. So I'm excited about that. So what's well, good. Uh, yeah. So let's, let's go ahead and, and uh, before we bring our guests on the panel. Let's let's go ahead and uh, share our appreciation. Yes, for some other amazing people that support this channel, otherwise known as our patrons. Michael, yes. why don't you why don't you talk about our patrons for a second? I sure will. So we have uh, three different levels, and the top level is "May the Force Be With You" level, and that's a twenty dollar level. And Katie from Popping the Popcorn is on the May the force be with you level. And recently, as yes. of yesterday? Yesterday or today, yes. I think it was yesterday. Um, Kyle from Return of the Living Flat bumped his from get to the chopper level up to may the force be with you level. And then we have Jennifer Armstrong, Valerie Janowski, and Denisha Lane that are on get ready for a surprise level. And we just want to thank you so much. It helps our channel so much. And I just, it, it just blows me away every time I think that people enjoy us enough that they'll be our patrons. Yes, it's very humbling and we're very, very grateful uh, to all of you. And, we're, and this, we'll get in this, this, I'll have this slide updated for our next stream so that we'll have Kyle up on the top level as well. And you know what, Michael, things happen, man. You just never know when you're doing a live stream, sometimes people are enjoying it. And they may just become a patron right now while we're on the live stream. And how, how can they do that for us? I'm, I'm having, I have the banner. What's the best way to do it, man? Well, the best way to do it is go to HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash Patreon.com forward slash the movie bros react. And you can see it down on our little ticker. If you forget and go there and you can choose between our lowest level, which is $5, our middle level tier, which is 10 in our top tier, which is $20. So if you feel like giving, anything helps. Yeah, we, we, we definitely appreciate your support, guys. Uh, it helps keep the light on, help keep the lights on, and it helps the channel grow. It helps us grow with more resources. So anyway, guys, oh, those Steve, options are there for you. Looks yeah. like Sarah Campbell just became a new patron. What? No, seriously? Dude. Yep, it looks oh, that my way. Gosh. You know... If only Sarah was here 
to think. I, you know, if there was just some way that I could bring her up on the oh there. Oh, oh. look at there, Sarah. Sarah. So much. That's so sweet of you. Thank Hi. you so much. Hi. Welcome to the panel and welcome to uh, I mean, you know, I always say the inner circle on my Raven <laughs> channel, but the inner circle, the inner theater of the yeah. movie pros. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the private theater, maybe. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you're in our oh. you're in our uh private box. Yes. Happy That's, to be here. Oh, it's so kind of you to do that. No, seriously. Thanks, Sarah. Really. Um, and thank you for coming tonight as well to watch The Goonies. Thank you. As you can see, it's one of my favorite movies. And I watch it pretty frequently. So I was excited to watch it again. Yay. Awesome. No spoilers. Well, no spoilers. <laughs> yeah. <there you> go. <laughs> yeah. Um, also want to welcome in while we're introducing our guests. And I'm going to say hello to everyone in the chat. We got some folks. In the chat, we want to talk to as well. <clears throat> but ladies and gentlemen, please welcome someone who is a great member of the of the horror YouTube community, and of course the Craven Something Scary community for sure. Uh, please welcome my good friend Marcus over at I Shot Him Six Times. Get Marcus, do it for me, man. You're, you're much better than I am. You hit me one time. We got a delay going. Hopefully it doesn't. Ho hopefully it doesn't <laughs> lag while I do it. I Six times. <laughs> there you go. That's awesome. Thank you, buddy. Good to see you, man. Glad you're here tonight. Hey, I'm glad I could make it. Right. Hopefully, you know, things kind of stay on a steady level. You guys know I've been having problems with, you know, live streaming and stuff. Yep. I'm just glad I can be here with you guys. Yeah, man. Same here. Same here. And um, every, everyone also want to make sure everyone sees in the chat. Uh, I'm going to put it in here one more time. This is the Amazon Watch Party. So if you guys want to watch it on Prime uh, video, that's the party that I'm hosting here. We are, and I'll control the uh, movie. If you click that link, rent it right there, or join AMC for free for seven days. Just don't forget to cancel it like I forgot for like three or four months. But uh, if you cancel it, then uh, you get it for free. You can watch it along with us. All right, real quick, let's hit the chat real fast, and then we're going to start this movie up. I uh, see Dino's in the house. What's going on, Dino? Good to see you. Uh, Jennifer Armstrong, one of our patrons, is here as well. Good to see you, Jennifer, as always. And we're going to have Jennifer join us on this panel soon. Maybe one of our next one or two <coughs> watch parties coming up. Yay. Jennifer will be joining us. Yeah. Uh, Jason Dyer in the house. What's up, dude? Is this the movie where Tommy Jarvis takes on Jason? Heck yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, man. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, our great friend, <laughs> Polar. Polar. What's up, Polar? Polar. Goonies was my favorite childhood movie. I know. And if, if, up, it, if, the, if the work schedule would have worked out, Polar would have come and joined us tonight as well. Wayne Turner. Dude, what's up, Wayne? I did some research and I didn't realize that, that was Josh Brolin on there on the Goonies. <laughs> you just never know who's going to pop up on these movies. <laughs> Wayne, yep. Wayne says it's 2 30 <laughs> on Friday in Sydney, Australia. Sounds wow. like a, a cheer song or a Billy Joel song. It's two thirty on a Saturday. <laughs> oh gosh, it's two thirty on a Saturday in Sydney, Australia. This is <laughs> oh my gosh. The regular crowd walks in. Yeah, there you go. We're all gonna watch a show <laughs> with the movie bros and Goonies is the title. It is. <laughs> la -di -da, da -di -da. La -di -da. <laughs> See, this is stuff I can't do on my Craven channel. I'll get popped. I can't do that <laughs> stuff like that. But over here, it doesn't matter. Until we're monetized, we can pretty much be like cowboys in the Old West. Um, <laughs> to a degree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Wayne, good to see you, man. Anybody else in the chat? Mm, Sarah's here. <laughs> Sarah Campbell's here? Oh, sir, I did not mean to put that exact comment up. I'm sorry. I was, I really just, I saw your name and I was about to start off. <laughs> I was just warning the people. You're, you're. 
just prepare yourselves as a sight right now. <clears throat> I have to get a cough drop. It's almost midnight. There you go, Wayne. Oh my gosh. Sarah, you 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 look fabulous, okay? You look fabulous, my dear. You you look fabulous. You you have nothing to, to, to warn or apologize about. Oh my god. We're all family here. Hey Sarah, if you want to oh, see some of course. some handsome right. men, you should see uh our first or second video. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Steve was sporting a ZZ top beard, dude. Yeah, and then and then our our video cameras weren't the same, so I'm way up high and he's way down low, <laughs> and it just was horrific. Okay. I'll tell you what, if you guys are want to do something fun after the movie, I'm not gonna bait and switch you, <laughs> but when the movie's over, if you still want to stay for like I don't know five minutes, I will pull up our very first video. I'll put it on the screen here. On this on StreamYard, so we could all watch it on screen, and just give you a sample of it. We won't play the whole thing, but yeah, you live and learn on YouTube, don't you? You live and learn, Michael. You learn, you adjust, you modify, and hopefully you improve. That's the goal. Hopefully, if we if we put our own video on there, we won't get dinged for copyright. Yeah, you've been copyrighted <laughs> for showing your own video. <laughs> uh, you know what? I hear a knock at the door. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe we only have two more guests scheduled. This is uh -oh. one who's going to join us here. We're very excited about. And then I think we're going to have one more join us a little bit later, towards the middle of the movie probably. But ladies and gentlemen, please welcome someone who's been joining us on the last, oh gosh, couple of movie watches now. And uh, is, is really becoming a great friend of the channel. Please welcome Scott to the stream. Hey, Scott. Hey, man. Hey, guys. Well, uh, time zone be damned. And uh, <laughs> obviously, I didn't calculate that correctly because uh, I thought we were working off a of mountain time. And uh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, and we, it's all good. We are literally just going to say hello to everyone in the <laughs> chat here, doing our intros. Michael and I move at our own pace. Okay, we we we, we just kind of it's like you you sometimes how you just like push something on ice and it just starts to slide. It just goes on its own trajectory well, a combination of texas time and colorado time does get you <laughs> a different kind of time it does yes so, it does. so a rule of thumb which sometimes we break but usually yes. the movie bros is on central standard time mm -hmm. for all the movies we have and then the the carbonite jedi is on mountain standard oh, oh that's where man. my mistake was that's where my mistake was so that's the, michael's got to go make it even more complicated nope just making it <laughs> nope. factual <laughs> See, I make it real simple. If you're on craving something scary or the movie bros, it's central all day long. You never have to worry. Central's but... better for me. I get to go to bed earlier then. <laughs> That's yeah. true. It's I think like we're our friends... all in different time zones. Where are we you, are. Sarah? Atlantic Standard Time. No oh, Scotia. my. You're staying up really late. <laughs> Bless her heart. Sarah so is like a soldier, man. She is like... Yep. I'll, she blows me away. Well, we'll start a movie at like, well, like now it'll be midnight before this thing even starts. And for her, it's like, dude, but she's a trooper. Really? So, is. what state are you in, uh, Sarah? Oh, I'm in Canada. I'm in Nova Scotia. Oh, okay. All right. She's what, one of our friends today? up north. <laughs> she's so, chilling. Scott, I, I don't know if you met uh, Marcus from <laughs> I Shot Him Six Times. Oh, yeah. I, I don't think I have. No, that's the first time. Marcus, this is Scott. He's my friend. I used to play football with him in high school, and we were good friends in high school and Hello, college. Scott. How you doing, buddy? Don't don't forget baseball, Mike. Baseball too, and track. <laughs> and track. Nice. Wow. <laughs> and nice. Yeah. Mike, That's did you awesome. set any track speed records on track, Mike? Uh, yeah. I oh, beat yeah? them hurdles. I beat them hurdles up, man. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> what was your forty time, dude? <laughs> I mean, I well, they don't, ex they don't expect Lyman to do 40s very fast. I didn't ask actually, that. I think your, your 40 was actually in the five, in the low fives. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, I mean, for O-Lineman, that's, no, that's, that's a good. Bad. That's good. I want to say it was like five. Yeah. 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 That, that's I mean, pretty fast. Dude. Yes. <laughs> it's true. It's because we yeah. had to pull those big tractor tires around the stadium. Oh, yep. gosh, dude. And running track without actually having a track was really, a, I think we only owned like three hurdles. 
<laughs> so Mike would jump one and jump two, and then somebody would run back and get the other two and set them in front of him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Hempstead, man, they're not, not, they're not known for their budgets, school budgets. That's well, they sure. do have a track now, and they've got a decent stadium. It's not a mega stadium like Tomball has. Right. Uh, but it's it's decent. It's good for, what are they, 1A now, 2A? They're fixing to play six-man football before you know it. Wow. Oh, Hempstead is? I'm kidding. I, I think they're they're low though on the <laughs> on the three A's. Uh, Karma, what's going on, Karma? So this movie came out on my birthday, and I'm showing you love. Well, I'm glad you're here. That's awesome. And Kirsten, of course, is here as well, and uh, would have joined us on the panel, but they've got some company. But thanks for being here, Kirsten. Uh, Philip is here as well. What's up, man? Always a pleasure. Sarah is truly awesome. Yes, she is. She is amazing. Hey, Jason. All right. Let's see here. I think I got everyone. Da, 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 da. Or maybe not. David Smith. What's up, David? Yes, rest in peace to George Wilbur, who passed away. Who Have you heard about that, Marcus? I don't know if you're still there or not. Um, yeah. Passed away, who donned the Michael Myers uh, in uh, Halloween four yep. and six, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, four and six. So four, four and six, four and six. Yep, that's right. So and rest in peace, George Wilbur. Five. Yeah, man. I wish they had kept him in five. I, th I thought he did really a really good job as the shape. But I did too. I th think he's honestly the most underrated Michael in the. Yeah. Yeah, man, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't disagree with that at all. Yeah, very good. Okay, guys. Well, listen. I think that's everyone in the chat. We are excited to watch this movie one more time. Um, I'm going to put the link here for the watch party in Amazon. If you want to watch it with us, it's in the chat now and the private <laughs> chat as well. Don't forget, everyone, to turn. Michael, what do they need to turn on other than their televisions or their devices? Subtitles. Subtitles, please. Turn on your subtitles, whether you're watching on physical media like Sarah rocking the DVD or if you're rocking the streaming like we are, either way, hit those <laughs> subtitles because, you know, we're, we're, we're prone to be a little bit chatty. And, and so, also hit the uh, thumbs up button yeah. for this video. Yes, indeed. Please hit the thumbs up button. Greatly helps out the stream. Helps more people, helps more people find us here as we're streaming and uh let's see anything else nothing no spoilers in the chat of course uh after something happens talk about it all night long we'll be talking about it but just in case there's some like for me it's a little bit sketchy on the details it's been so long so if you know a really great scenes about to happen let's just wait till it happens and then we can chat about it all oh, that'd be great all right uh, uh anyone on the panel have any questions before we get started you got everyone set Okay, Sarah's giving the thumbs up. Okay. Scott, you good, sir? Yeah. I'm good. Okay. No questions. Marcus. Yet. All right. Scott, you're uh, find out. Oh. Okay. I'm, yeah. Let me know. You're muted. <laughs> yeah, Sarah's muted as well. Just, yeah, just I'm good. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. You're good? Okay. All right. Very all right. Everyone at home, I'm gonna do a countdown and we'll uh hit once I say go, we will hit play. And there, look who's popping in the chat. The Eric, the bearded entertainment. What's up, dude? Hey, Eric. Hey, man. We're uh, getting ready to get the movie started. I know you're watching Cab Knock at the Cabin, or Knock is it Knock at the Cabin? I think that's enough. Yeah, Knock at the Cabin. A lot of people are watching that tonight. Three three people I know are watching it tonight. <laughs> it's it's an M Night Shyamalan. It is. Movie. I'm very excited to see how what happens on this one here. So, um, all right, very good. Well, Eric, if you decide that uh, you're able to watch. The movie just let us know and you know you're welcome to join uh philip says i've never seen the full movie before just parts of it well well tonight philip we're gonna fix that problem we're gonna watch it from the start to finish now i'm excited about that all right here we go guys let's start it up i'm gonna count us in and we're gonna and we're gonna hit and we're gonna roll here we go at five four three two one go Due to streaming rights, the following will run with limited interruptions. Are you serious? 
<laughs> really? <laughs> Come on, man. Okay, guys. Well, we're going to get stuck with ads every now and then, so get ready to pause. If you're not on the watch party, sorry. If you're not, if you're not on the watch party. Uh, Lucy Wood produced by Michael Donner. Oh. Or Richard Palmer. Donner party. <laughs> yeah. uh, Goonie. Do you hear any volume? Yeah, it, the doors are closing. Oh, I hear it now. Okay, yeah, there it is. <laughs> Start saying that to my family. <laughs> Longer you animals bark, the colder your dinner gets. I don't think that'll go over too well. Mm. Oh, wow. I always wanted to know where you got the pipe from. <laughs> mm. That's what they use to smoke their illegal drugs. Just throw mama from the train. Yep. And it's oh, the neighbor so from Ellie friend. Ooh. <laughs> Anybody got a basketball? <laughs> <laughs> Marcus, you know what I'm talking about. Oh. <laughs> he bumped his nose on the window. <laughs> you know, it's a good movie when they're starring in alphabetical order. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> What was uh what was the name of her son and and throw mama from the train? What was it? Sylvester Stallone. Uh, Danny DeVito was her son. Yeah, what was his name? Owen. Owen. Owen, Owen doesn't have any friends. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Owen's friend. Owen doesn't have any friends. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> oh, the 80s. That's, that's Hempstead right there. There it is. There's you and Scott out there running drills. <laughs> I'm the muddy one. Scott was too oh. fast to get knocked down. <laughs> he has like some kind of like I like live on, show now on Corey going Feldman on was in here see it's been a list uh, <laughs> oh man. Oh man. <laughs> Man, they literally had everybody in this movie. I know. Where's the train, Owen? This would be Jeep <laughs> Lincoln down at Galveston. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, Steven Spielberg wrote this, this, this story. Yeah. Interesting. I 
I think that the um, Cindy Lauper did the main theme song for the movie. Yeah, you're giving spoilers. Not really. <laughs> I have to block Michael from the channel. No trolls. was at a Cracker Barrel the other day and saw a lightsaber on the wall, thought a mic, went over and looked at it, and it was a flashlight. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Kids' bedrooms in the 80s always looked the coolest. Mine sure did. <laughs> it's true, though. That is true. I'm biased towards the 80s, though, I have to admit. I don't know anybody that wore sweatpants and then shorts on top of sweatpants. Uh, well, we live in Texas, though. <laughs> it's an odd look, though. We make my first trip to May. Purple rain shirt. It is. There you Spoilers. go. Spoilers. And a members only jacket. It is. Nice. Nice. <laughs> oh, yes. You know when he was uh, doing this, he had the he had the measles, or no, really? the chicken pox. He had the chicken pox. Oh, and he didn't tell anybody because he thought that he would uh, get fired. Oh wow! <laughs> Can't fire chunk. Chunk's awesome. <laughs> oh no. Did Data make this for them? What's that? Did they ever tell us if Data made this for them? Because it no. says Data written all over it. Only yeah. that it works. He probably did. It's like Pee Wee Herman's house. Remember his kitchen? Pee Wee's Big Adventure? Oh, uh, that's kind of, it does kind of look like that. <laughs> Listen to listen to what he says. <laughs> he he calls he calls a SUV an RV. Yeah. Oh man. My sister did. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh no. Only in the 80s would they get away with this joke. That's true. Oh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was a different era, man. Is his name Brand or Brad? Brand, I think. I think it's Brand. That's Brand with an N. Wow. That's messed up. Short for Brandon, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that makes sense, yeah. Oh my gosh. 
I love this scene. I think they only call him it like once, like to the full name. Oh no. This was his best movie, period. Yes. I don't know. Lost Boys was pretty good too, but Yeah, Lost Boys was pretty good. One. Let's be clear, one. All the other oh. Lost Boys sucked. Oh, they had another one? <laughs> <laughs> You really do need subtitles turned on. <laughs> she doesn't speak English. Watch this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, Did damn. you finish from Scarface? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I don't think that's properly fitted on there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Adios mio. <laughs> Sexual torture. <laughs> oh. oh, oh my gosh! Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Man. <laughs> keeps turning this keeps turning this trophy. <laughs> so Chunk's cheeks are really that that rosy because he's actually sick, huh, Mike? Yeah, he's sick. He must have been like itching like crazy. Oh, that was gonna go to a commercial. I did too. So How come far, it was like it was like light outside, and all of a sudden they go up to the attic. It starts like thundering and lightning. <laughs> the storm moved in quickly. Was Corey Feldman in Gremlins? Ah, uh, yeah. Corey Feldman was in Gremlins. Yeah. God, I don't remember that. What? Really? Yeah. It's funny, JD was watching Gremlins uh, last night. Yeah, I watched it a couple of weeks ago. Uh, it was it was really good. That's really how good nice, it was. It's a friendly movie. <clears throat> both of them. I actually like both of them. I've heard that, man. I've never seen Gremlins 2. Oh, it was good. I've heard the second one was pretty yeah. good. It was. Oh, I was too, surprised. Sarah? Yeah? Yeah, back then the yeah no, I've, uh, I've never seen the second one. <laughs> Yeah, me either. Oh, <laughs> dude. That's how we were in the 80s. Everybody just yelled at each other. <laughs> and we had cool stuff. Nobody got their feelings hurt. 
Well, that's what I was say. That's the thing, though. Like after this is over, everyone's fine. Like you know, yeah. everybody be like, okay, everybody's nobody's mad. And if you had a fist fight, it was done. Yeah, unfortunately, it ain't like that too much nowadays. No. Unfortunately. Gremlins 2, the new batch. We'll have to watch that, man. Yeah, it was really good. Hey. put that on our poll for voting. Is it 80s or is it 90s? I can't remember if it was like... I'm not sure. I think that was mid-80s. Yeah. Probably. I know Gremlins is probably like 84 or so. I think it's 84. <laughs> I'll have to Google it and see. I got another one for you. It's in the 90s, but Little Giants. Oh, I love that movie. Little With Giants? Rick Moran yes. and Ed O'Neill. Yeah. Uh, I haven't thought favorites. about that movie. Yes. <laughs> Little Giants. I watched really that movie, movie thousands of times with my kids. So Gremlins 2 came out in 1990. So we can oh. skip. We'll make it work. We'll squeeze it yeah. in. It was probably filmed nice. in the in the eighties. Eighty nine. Goodness. One eyed Willie. And they got away with booby traps. Booby traps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this was back before PG-13. Yeah, that's right. I so don't think older... I would have survived adolescence without not having PB... PG-13. I think I'm saying that wrong, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There are many PG movies that... Should have been something else. <laughs> if there was nothing else except R, you know. <clears throat> so the older brother must be uh, Josh Brolin. Mm. Yeah. Yep, looks like him. That's Josh Brolin? Yep. Yeah, Brand is Josh Brolin. Dude, I never would have yeah, recognized him. I, I didn't until I... It, it, I yeah, uh, it definitely does look like Josh Brolin. It. Yeah, wow. that's him. This is one of his first roles. That's crazy, y'all. Absolutely, yeah. Sarah's part went on. Wow. And that's little Sean Astin right there. Yep. Sam, Here's another one that... Rings. Yeah, he looks so different here, too. Wow. Oh. With his braces. Yep. Yep. 
Look at Josh Brolin rocking it, man. Yeah. And then the guy who plays Data was just in uh, Everything Everywhere All at Once. He was uh, oh, Indiana Jones sidekick. Okay. Also. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. Short round. My gosh. Uh, let's see here. Philip, we are at 20 minutes and 35 seconds. 20 minutes and 40 seconds. Movie debut for Josh Brolin. That's awesome, Wayne. That's really cool. Another another joke that flew past everybody's heads. Mm. <clears throat> it makes you wonder what these kids got paid for these roles. I just wonder, like, you know, yeah, what you what this union scale, or they get paid a little more. Makes you wonder. I think they got to just keep the clothes. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> like Josh <laughs> Bowen, his first movie, he probably just got <laughs> union. Probably got union payment, you know? Scale. That's sad. I mean. Yeah. I don't think we see Chunk again in any other movie after this one. He did it. He's doing a great job in his role. Well, the guy right there, the Asian guy, he was in uh uh um the Temple of Doom, right? Yes. Yeah. Short round. Well, yeah. Sarah mentioned he was he was just in a movie last year that that everything uh everywhere all at once. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was the husband. He was supposed to be really good in that movie, too. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, yeah. it's a, it's a trivia movie. It. Good. He's really good in it. I think he won a Golden Globe for it. He won something for it. Good for him. It's good that he's still working, you know? All these. There's your theme song, Mike. Yep. Oh, this is. Wayne said that Chunk is now a lawyer for, in real life. I was going to say that. I was like, I think he went into law and just like quit acting. Wow. I think they actually got all the all the cast members together on the, the DVD they just released, and they all did like a, a talk through of the movie. Oh, nice. I didn't know that. That's really cool. That'd be worth buying on DVD to have. Yeah. Oh. So the other brother's always working out, but he's not a letterman. <laughs> That's why he's working out. And skinny little Troy's uh, got a uh, letterman's jacket or letter. Well, I'm sorry, spoil. <laughs> <laughs> he must have a really good 40 time. See, this is like another thing you don't see too much. It's like another thing you yeah, don't back. see too much nowadays is like a group just riding their bikes, you know what I mean? Yeah. Too many video Doing games. Wild True. stuff. Unless you're watching Stranger Things, yeah. there's not many bicycles going. Absolutely. <laughs> Wasn't Stranger Things set in the 80s? Not a lot then? about that. Me and my yeah, friends, yeah. Would, you know, it is, had Scott. A, wood, a woods area where we live. And we was built. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> and they were they left their bikes anywhere in front of the house. Yep. And nowadays, you can't really do that. No. <clears throat> In Colorado, the really. hobos would take them. Mm. Mm. <laughs>
<laughs> was that supposed to be Data's sister? Uh, mm-hmm. I, I, I don't know. That was his house, I think, right? I, I, oh, Data? I no, Data was across the street. That's Double cool, Lane. negative. Awesome. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, he almost Ooh. ate it. Yeah, it was almost an accident, I think. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Asking wow. for a baby Ruth. <laughs> there he goes. Baby Ruth. Oh my word! He messed up that girl's uh, training wheels. <laughs> yeah, they are. Oh no! <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude! He was humming on that bike too. He was going. He's yeah. chasing after his brother. <laughs> They look like California license plate. <laughs> How is Troy stronger than the jock that exercises all the time? Yeah, you can't like pull your hand off. Oh, I would totally whoop his arse. You could tell they were gonna they're about to put an ad in there, but it didn't run. So, yep. they, so far so good on no ads. That's right, Philip. <laughs> Mouth looks like he's got a fro. The rich He's stuff. got some bad at living right there because uh, I don't know Spanish. Yeah. Where's Dora the Explorer when you need her? <laughs> it's the map. It's the map. It's the map. <laughs> Dave's uh, got the backpack. Yeah. Sounds good, Kyle. We still got like an hour and 25 minutes, so you're plenty of time. They look like a bunch of little drunk dwarves pacing off. Now they're hopping. Does that make them hobbits? Yeah. Hobbits. 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 If you haven't subscribed to I Shot Him Six Times, you should totally do it. He has great content. So go and check out his channel and subscribe to I Shot Him Six Times. Thank you so much, Michael. I greatly appreciate that, buddy. Yeah. Man, we're all in this together. And once Scott gets his channel and Sarah gets her channel, we'll be uh, touting y'all too. <laughs> Right. Denisha oh. like dropped a link to like my YouTube account in a chat the other day, and she was like, "Go subscribe." I was like, "Denisha, I don't have any videos. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even really have a channel." I was like, "I appreciate you." <laughs> awesome. I've seen people who don't have any have any channels, and they got like thousands of subscribers. I'm it's like, all right. She's how does that she's setting the table. Yeah. All right. Oh, chunk. 
Marcus, you're a, you're a, how many subs are you at now, dude? You're getting like 600, aren't you? 500? 612, buddy. I wow, thought you broke nice. 600. I was like, what? Look at him. Dude, you're approaching 1,000, buddy. That's Way so awesome. Up oh, bullet holes. Bullet holes in the RV. Yeah, oh, I know. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Over the last like month and a half, you know, I've been getting a lot of good feedback and a lot of, you know, yeah, that's awesome, buddy. I'm so proud of you, man. Thank you, thank you so much, buddy. I'm not going to lie that that's Scream Six is that I'm talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. You got about five more weeks, man. Take it, take advantage of it for these next five weeks. I know. Didn't she die of tongue cancer? Yeah, she's gone. I don't know why she how she died, but hmm. I'll always know him <laughs> as McKinney from Man Maniac Cop. Mm-hmm. He played a bad guy in so many 80s movies. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. He's always. And like Maniac Cop, like, only fun, like he play a bad. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh. <laughs> That's water? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Not drinking that water. No. Uh, Poor Mike, he doesn't know his left from his right. <laughs> really? Let's go see well, what it is. Get a strange noise or something. <laughs> <laughs> Let's split up. Exactly. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> These are good boys. <laughs> oh, he sat on it. I, I thought he was just screaming. I never knew he was saying hungry and food. Yeah, that's sad. Oh, that's pitiful. That's terrible. Oh. 
Well, that's uh, disturbing. <laughs> I don't think you have to worry about them. <laughs> oh, it doesn't have any friends. <laughs> What's the boy's name? Owen. Restaurant trash. Restaurant trash. <laughs> Wayne, I think Scott would probably do more like real estate and Sarah wants to do music. Hey, Denisha. It's our time. <laughs> What's Mouth doing carrying around a mirror? <laughs> That's some real 80s stuff right there. The only time the brothers would be like, yeah, listen to her. <laughs> hey, Denisha. Good to see you. Glad you're here. <laughs> There's a watch party link, Denisha, if you want to join us. You can just click there and hop right in. <clears throat> so, Steve, is is it all coming back to you, or no? It, actually, like it's, it's not. Oh, it's not. No, I'm feeling that it just very much feels like a first time watch right now. Oh, yeah, it really does. Oh, that's oh. exciting. Yeah, it's really cool. I'm enjoying it. That's cool. I mean, maybe you didn't ever watch the whole thing. I, I don't think I did. I think I just saw little pieces here and there. What? Really? I think I own this on DVD. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I think I bought it for the kid. <laughs> Something for the car. Wow, yeah. Well, hello. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, 
Awesome, Philip. First time watch. All right. Nice. Made out of glass, not plastic. That's very 80s. <laughs> Listen. I forgot to say, if you haven't subscribed to Craven Something Scary, subscribe there and subscribe also to the Carbonite Jedi. Absolutely. Yes. Two, Thank you. 258 more subscribers and I'll hit 1,000. Right. Dude, you're on your way, bro. There you go, buddy. Hey. There you go, brother. You're on your way. That's what's up. I'm right at, I'm at like 40 five away from 8500 so nice. i'm almost almost 8500 and halfway to 9000 so let's Dude, go you're like you're like steady so you might get it by what by tomorrow hey. no not tomorrow. Go, <laughs> yeah let's go <laughs> what in like a a, a week or two now you I say mean, not to <laughs> now you say not tomorrow but then you're going to get double that yeah <laughs> well, Marcus, well i you know I, I do hope I, I do hope to hit nine thousand by the end of the month. That's my goal, because with all the scream six and everything, I think it's possible. Um, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Whatever oh, yeah. it is, it is. I'm just enjoying it. You got it, buddy. Yep. Thank you, buddy. No, it's not. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, Sanisha. He's using his special powers now. <laughs> Apple and grape ice cream? No, I don't think so. Oh, no. Oh, that is too bad. Oh. <laughs> bad. <laughs> Mel wanted the, to chime was, in. Was that the, the, the dude's dad or was that the <laughs> other guy? I'm not sure, dude. Yeah, you could kind of tell Corey Feldman was like a little bit off his rocker in this movie. But man, he just, he does his like own. You need a different drum? Yeah, he does like a live show now where he sings and dances. That's right. I did like it better. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Denisha. Appreciate you. Hmm. We've got to go to Mordor. 
I thought he was going to start singing every breath you take with that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> How they just left that dude in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, Kyle! Welcome, man. Thank you. How are you guys doing? Hey, Good. Kyle! Good to see you. Good. Let me know if you need a, a timestamp, buddy. Yeah, you will need one. Okay. Right, uh, right now we're at forty-six oh five. Okay. And forty-six ten. Craven, you got a. Uh question for you oh um i saw stand by me when i was very young i was i don't know what 12 maybe i i don't really remember it that well at all yeah that's why i like to i'd like to revisit again wasn't that fireplace on fire before it had a red glow like it had a light in it and they never addressed that because when he like moved it, it was like there was no fire. <laughs> <laughs> she played this role like so to well. The zoo. <laughs> I love her in this role, man. It's this mother w evil. That's the same character she is in Throw Mama from the Train. Oh yeah, that's right. I just got there. I got there now. <laughs> you there? Right there? Yeah. Okay. Right. Forty-seven, eighteen, Kyle. Look, it's on fire again. Well, it's. Oh yeah, it's not we're, really on fire. It's just. We're matched just, now. We're good. Okay. Yeah. Why would they want the clumsiest guy to go get the police? I don't know. It moves the story in the right direction, Michael. Oh no. <laughs> uh oh. Don't walk backwards. Never walk backwards, man. I hate nature. I hate nature. <laughs> Watch out for the cars. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my gosh that was great <laughs> he's lucky they didn't kill him right there I know uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's part of the movie right here. 
No, by banging on him. Oh, gosh. Uh oh. How old are those pipes? Oh, no. <laughs> Soap on a rope and you got the pirate in there working oh, in the bathroom. Geez. Oh no. Oh, oh my. No, hey, this how's it hanging? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, he had no. soap around his neck. Soap Dude. on a rope. Oh no! That's the Guns worst. and ammo. The worst possible time. I got to go poo poo. Uh oh. <laughs> That's gonna explode. <laughs> 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 da 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 Oh, there it is. Everything. <laughs> hey, wasn't he in the Matrix? He was the guy who was a bad guy in the Matrix. <coughs> Steve? Which one? <clears throat> They're the on the with right glasses. There? The guy in the middle with the glasses. No. Yeah, he was. He was the that's guy who was him. like... That's not Tank, dude. I mean, that's not, that's not the dude. That not is. Right. If, he was, if he was bald... <clears throat> No, I I bet you five hundred dollars it was deal. <laughs> Pull it up, IMDb it. Mike's you're losing some money <laughs> on that one. Yep, I'm taking every bit of that five hundred bucks. It's easy money for Steve. <laughs> yep. <laughs> five hundred dollars directly into my PayPal account tonight. <laughs> <laughs> they had a Goonies too. Oh, wow. I didn't even know that either. John Pantoliano. John Pantoliano. Oh. Yep. The Matrix. Boom. 500 bucks. Send it to me, baby. I, I, yep, I, I did. Uh, I, Ball ahead. Yep, that's the that's dude that was eating the steak. He's like, I know this steak isn't real. What? That dude? Yes. That's that, that guy. That's him. He's really? Bald. Yep. I need my five hundred bucks. What can well, I get? let me let me contact the Monopoly man so we can get that over to you. Uh huh. And deliver that. <laughs> that's Monopoly not what money. you would have been saying if I was wrong. <laughs> that's correct. You're right. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. You can pay for my ticket down like what three or four times. Uh, <laughs> to you, sitting on these airline <laughs> tickets are <laughs> yeah, the way they're going up. Oh yeah, score my. one for you, Mike, on that one. What's that? Score one for you on that one. Yeah, no doubt. I'm shocked. I'm shocked you even recognize him, dude. I'd, well, it's, he's he said something that kind of like triggered it. Ah. Uh, It is Chester Copperpot. When you look it up, when you look yeah. it up on, on Google, he uses the same picture for the Goonies and for the Matrix. It makes it real easy. <laughs> oh, wow. Operator's license. See, you owe him $500 there. Mike, check your text, man. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> Booby traps again. <laughs> Booty traps. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's the key. Mm. Oh, man. I don't know, man. He around a dead man's head, and he had no problem putting it around his head. Yeah. And they put his... Is this a spider? Oh, no. Don't don't do that. Yeah, don't. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh. We just had the conversation about the booby traps. About the booty traps. Yes. And what they go and do? Well, you already <laughs> did it. Oh. Well, that looks like Indiana Jones. Yeah. <laughs> From Temple of Doom. Yeah. Run! Steven Spielberg brought some of his uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark inspiration over here. What are you doing, dude? Probably the funnest part of the whole movie. <laughs> it didn't look like it was very stable. The rock like I bats just came out of there. <laughs> Weren't there bats in Indiana Jones too? Yep. Yeah. Or was it rats? Man. <laughs> that was me while I was an Annie, watching Annie. I don't blame you. <laughs> Did that happen in Stand By Me also? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't want to play the violin. <laughs> See, he's bald. <laughs> We'll reach China. Steve, have you seen Big Trouble in Little China? With oh, yeah. Russell? It's been a while. I've been in ages, though. Is it beautiful? Is it?
kiss me. Mm. <laughs> oh, now she's disappointed. Man. <laughs> Here it goes. That's why he's crazy. Yeah, he's a front man in a band now. Yeah, of women. It's a and little rough. Sing, I gotta have to admit, dude. It was so funny when he played. I can't believe I can't remember what talk show he was on, but it was hilarious. Yeah, he oh, wow. uh yeah, he pulls in the people though. Hey man. That's all right. I think he wanted it to be an addicted to love type band. Oh, I got Robert Palmer. Yeah. He just doesn't have a very strong singing voice. That's the problem. I... <laughs> or any musical talent whatsoever. Right. It's kind of like a dream, I think. You know, like he wants to. <laughs> you know, like I say, man, if you can pull it off, go for it. What you know, if you got, if you, you know, but. Just don't see a real long future in that. Now, if Charlie Sheen was the front man, I could see that with his uh, drinking tiger blood. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah. They got that old, that old nasty style Mustang. I remember those, dude. They were like, technically, they are a Mustang, but they're not really a Mustang. No, like I knew a person that owned one. It was like, we don't do Sioux train tickets here, Dino. Oh yes, we do. Not on the Movie Bros. Do train, baby. It stops at the Movie Bros. Reacts channel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it travels everywhere. You better believe it. <laughs> he has a, a, a wig on. When the bats came through, his wig fell off. It was bald. <laughs> Did you see that, Steve? What? The guy from the Matrix. Yeah. When the bats came up out of the out of the fireplace, uh -huh. his wig flew off and he was bald. <laughs> Did he really? Yeah. No, I missed. Yeah. That's the five hundred dollar look. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Barrel. That's a loving mom. <laughs> yeah, <it is>. <laughs> <laughs> mom. <laughs> it's our time down here. Our time is now. <laughs> Say die. <laughs> Bye. See ya. What is it, Sam? Who the heck brings up a test in their speech?
bestest. This is oh, we got the bots. Time. Our it's 69 bots are back here. Right, here we go. We got bots. Yeah, our 69 sex bots are back. Huh. I didn't see them. Oh, I did. Never mind. There we go. Philip, you want to punch who? <laughs> <laughs> John Aston? Did they really think she was that light? They couldn't tell that she wasn't on the bucket? Oh, yeah. She was as heavy as her jacket. What's you need now? Oh, oh my. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> he loves chocolate. A baby Ruth. <laughs> he just ends up having that. I wonder how they got the ears to like wiggle like that. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Just bounces off his head. <laughs> Is he the right motivation? He must be a strong. There you go. Mo oh, you broke the chains. You need to get that get the baby Ruth out there. It's all about how to motivate people. Hey man, whatever it takes. Those booty traps. That's right. Booty traps. Man. <laughs> Sloth. <laughs> Chuck was way underrated in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's great. Definitely agree. And he's he's a he's a uh man, he would have been he'd been like a great like John Candy kind of guy. Yes. <laughs> With his three teeth. Chew it, we'll chew it up carefully. <laughs> Got peanuts. Oh. <laughs> Man, I've forgotten all this stuff. <laughs> Yeah, it's great. <laughs> uh. oh. <laughs> oh, gosh. Really? <laughs> Uh oh. Uh. They had bowling balls way back then. It's your death. Just stop the bowling ball.
Which came first, in Data or Inspector Gadget? <laughs> data. <laughs> now we know where the inspiration came from. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that teeth. Nice little Gremlins reference there. The Gremlins. <laughs> yep. I must be a little bit faster than y'all's. <laughs> uh oh. for you to become a man. <laughs> what? He's a man, man. This is the 80s, right? It is. Oh. <laughs> oh. He became a man. <laughs> <laughs> she, didn't realize <laughs> she didn't realize that he was like teeny tiny <laughs> she was going to jail No. Uh -uh. I don't think he was supposed to fall down there. I would have knocked down all those like pointy bamboo sticks before I would have let anybody come down. Yes, let's all run through the big skull. Oh, they show panties. <laughs> 
Watch out for the booty traps. I always thought this would make a good ride at Six Flags. Not a, not good enough for Disney, but good enough for a Six Flags. It'd be cool ride. to like have it at uh, not really a ride, but like <laughs> like a walkthrough at Disney. Kind of like Swiss Family Robinson. Sort of. What well, I've never been to Disney, so. Of course, it'd be Nikes he's wearing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Dana. Liar. Watch out for the guns. <laughs> Stupido. <laughs> oh my. Pull the strings. Oh, those are spider webs. Are those candles? <laughs> Steve, are you doing the Lethal Collective tomorrow? Yeah. Oh. He <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's oh, a lot of water. No. Uh oh. I think the pirates had too many, too much time on their hands. Death. Really, how many? <laughs> how did uh, how did pirates know how to play the piano? Yeah, you're going to die. <laughs> Sarah, since this is your first time watching it, is it great? Sorry? <laughs> I said, since this is your first time watching it, do you, are you enjoying it? Oh, no, I'm, this is not my first time watching it. No, I'm, I'm totally teasing you. Okay. You said you loved it and you watched it all the time. I was just yeah. teasing you. I was like, was he not listening to me? Or am I just not being the joke? <laughs> totally engrossed in the movie right now. <laughs> uh oh. I would punch him in the face. <laughs> Oh. Ooh. Liberace. 
<laughs> no more. <laughs> no more. Again, Inspector Gadget. Yep. I wonder if you played the 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 notes right. Yeah. But in the different like in a different order if it was still worked. <laughs> he got punched. Oh my. Cock your oh. <laughs> Well, they don't have to worry about the guys. So the mom has a switchblade and the son has a butterfly knife. So that is like the <laughs> one thing that's always bothered me. Yeah. Like a sharp and B flat are the same note. Like it's it's the yep. same thing. Maybe that's the whole point. They are. Every every time she says it, I'm just like, but it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. They wanted to see how many people would catch that. That's absolutely oh. right, Sarah. The same note. Here's the, your water ride. Whew. Man, the suspense is killing me. It's definitely, uh, this is the best part. This should be like the, the ride in, in, uh, in Disney, Scott, right here. I'm here. This, this should be the, the ride right here. Yeah, exactly. I'm sure the kids would love this film and these scenes. Again, again, I messed up. Exactly. That would be fun, actually. But they went down the same chute, but they all came out of different holes. Oh, How does that work? That would be pretty fun. So uh, at the end of this ride, I got a little bit of trivia. That water looks green. So Steven Spielberg, when he did this shot, he had the kids look at this for the very first time. This was their actual reactions <laughs> to seeing a pirate ship for the very first time. So oh, I thought wow. it was pretty kind of neat. That sucker was a full, full on part. It wasn't just half of one. It was the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. It actually worked. Exactly. <laughs> Mama. I agree, Philip. That'd be so much fun as a water slide. And you know, the kids would go crazy for a pirate ship. You got to have the pirate ship like they have at SeaWorld in San Antonio that shoots, you can shoot water off of it, water cannons from the top and from the bottom. Can can people get on it or is it just for the employees? No, it's, it's a whole <laughs> on it. Oh. Kiss See, me again. The pirate ship that I'm interested in going to is on a private island called Half Moon K. It's the Carnival Cruise Ship's <laughs> Island, and it's a giant wrecked ship, but it's a Captain Morgan bar. <laughs> there you that go. sounds fun. Really? <laughs> that's awesome. That's, that's, so there's a you Carnival like, Cruise that takes you to it. Yeah, wow. it's like it's on one of their stops, and uh, yeah, you can like go up in the crow's nest. You can go to the different floors. It's this like hollowed out wrecked ship but it's the captain morgan bar oh my god wow well that's cool i'm that's gonna be talking cool. to you more because i want to go i thought you were gonna tell us it was an old wreck 
Carnival cruise ship. And I'm like, that's not a good advertisement. <laughs> yeah. No. It's not yeah. like fancy on the inside or anything. It just is like the shape of the ship, but it still looks really cool. <laughs> Have you gone? No, but I'm planning one uh, January 2024. Nice. Ooh. Nice. Very nice. So I've been looking at all the things I want to do, and that's when I found that bar. HR must be paying pretty good. Nice. I mean, I have to save a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Why did they have a doll? Man. Uh-oh. Oh. Ouch. They're so lucky. <coughs> <coughs> really? How did you know to break through that? Hello, one eye Willie. <laughs> I'll be okay. Just give me a second to talk to the dead guy. Man, uh. I would have taken that freaking treasure chest. We're all dead down here. I wonder if Willie's got some pretty good teeth for a pirate. Mm hmm. Willie. <laughs> <laughs> Now I have to travel to Mordor. <laughs> He's crying. I laughed through this part as a kid. First Goonie. <laughs> <laughs> Long enough to know we got to commit you now because you're insane. Long enough. <laughs> <laughs> These freaking like. No, that's Willie's. <laughs> Let's go, load up. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. <laughs> that's great. Took the whole thing with them. You know, they got all that stuff in their pockets. Now, Party how did boys. they end up coming through the door and the kids had to crawl up through a hole? Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> Brand doesn't have any friends. Exactly. <laughs> oh, this falls over. <laughs> oh no. I'll be with the knife. <laughs> Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> These guys like died everywhere, right? Like climbing down the crow's mm -hmm. nest and <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> 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 Oh my. Say goodbye to your little friend. <laughs> Give her some air. It's obviously a, a, a doll on Sloth's back. <laughs> so <laughs> iconic right there. Hey, you guys. <laughs> he swings on the rope and just falls right into his friends. <laughs> totally <the> <laughs> oh you're just gonna oh <laughs> hey switch sides oh no <laughs> the superman shirt <laughs> and the theme too <laughs> I don't wear a hair piece and his hair piece is flopping all around. Uh -huh. uh. Toupee. <laughs> see, Steve? I, uh, I see the toupee flopping. Yep. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. There it goes. This is like what you call a movie made on a grand scale. Hundred percent. You don't see very many of these kind of movies. Yep. Not anymore. You don't. No. You don't. <laughs> oh. 
No! Oh. <laughs> now we get the backstory. <laughs> Hi, Mama. Oh, I boy. just killed a man. Mama. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> I just killed a man. Ma, you've been bad. Oh, sloppy. <laughs> no. Give me ice cream. <laughs> sloppy kill you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so he's got to pull him overboard. Guys. There he goes. Oh. <laughs> 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 There's no way he does. Rot was so that that, that boat, that I don't want to rot was, like you. Trapped in rocks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hands on the barrel. Francis. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Oh, it's a little... It's a... Dynamite! Those are not candles. <laughs> <laughs> no, it caved them in. They can't get into it. Up. Oh. 
It's them goobers. Yep. <laughs> Well, I'll be darn. <laughs> You're too late. <laughs> Man, that old cop car. That dad looks so familiar. Check out that mustache. A pizza, Domino's. <laughs> and Domino's has been around a long time. It sure has. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> Ammonia. Uh, <laughs> yeah. oh, man. Uh, like father, like son. Yep. <laughs> you can't hug a photograph. Oh, sweet. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Let her mother worry. How do they get the cop cop jackets? Oh. <laughs> Scott, you're spoilers. Amber Freeman, I mean Tara Carpenter needed it. <laughs> Domino's was founded in Australia? I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. How about that? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Could have seen just uh, Jason Bateman playing the Troy part. Does where's uh Rosita? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there she is. Huh. Adios, mio. <gasps>
<laughs> oh. Oh, I love Teen Wolf, man. You love what? Teen Wolf. Oh, Teen Wolf. Michael J. Fox, and that was a great, fun '80s movie. I enjoyed that one too. Yeah, man, it's really fun. <laughs> or ever again. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> Can octopus Yeah, I would get a uh, motorboat and I'd go out there and I'd go get that boat. Oh, wow. And that's not CGI either. Yeah, they, they didn't really have CGI back then. They didn't need it for this film either. Uh, wow. <clears throat> so, Steve, any of this familiar? Some of the shots when they were with the with the ship started feeling familiar to me. Oh, okay. But up to that point, not not most of it was not very familiar. Oh. <clears throat> oh my. <laughs> Fantastic. Good enough. Everybody sing. Oh, I got paused. <laughs> Good I like, I like the, uh, the it, it didn't want you to sing. Like just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. She never says she loves Teen Wolf, too. Yeah, Teen Wolf is great. Really campy, funny. I like it. Do -do. Like, yeah, Goonies. that's a classic. Yeah, was that something y'all be interested in watching sometime? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. The original or the second mm -hmm. one? Oh no, the original. The second Michael one. Michael J. Fox. Horrible. Yeah. The second one, what? The second one was horrible. Oh, was it? It definitely was. Yeah, Michael J. Fox is only in the first one. Yeah, the original with Michael J. was great. Him car surfing? Yes. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> yep, and the dad. The dad and the coach, that's so good. I love that. Or the coach <laughs> or whoever it was, you know. You're going to have to do that sometime. Yeah, we should. Oh, I think you wet yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, there, guys, for second, thought, there for a second, I thought you accidentally made a Porky's reference when you said the dad and the coach. Oh, God. Oh, gosh. Oh, it's a whole different. Yeah, it's a whole a different. Porky situation <laughs> <laughs> yeah it sure is that one oh, definitely man. should have been pg 13 pg something yeah rated r r rated i think honestly it's a totally different film <laughs> yeah that's yeah when you got some guy running straight up new down the middle of a road that's just <laughs> the r rated <laughs> he jumps on the car the police yes. car and stuff booga, 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 booga. oh man <laughs> oh my gosh all right. <laughs> so, what what do you guys think? What do you guys think? I think Sarah this one holds or, up. Or Scott, you start still... off. Yeah, I think this one holds up. It it passed the test of time. Yeah, yeah, I I, I agree. Um, fun. It was good to see. Like I said, most of it was new for me, and I really enjoyed that. Uh, what a cast! Mm -hmm. You know, it's just. That's kind of a situation where, again, I said earlier, it was just a grand scale. You could tell when watching this, like, everything was big. It was just, like there was no, you know, limitations, it felt like. Like, mm -hmm. it was just whatever wide Steven Spielberg wide wanted wide to do, they, he did it. There was no, like, no, you got to cut back here or you got to cut back here. 
Now that could have happened, mm-hmm. but it doesn't feel like it. You know, it feels like just we're going all the way, like all in on this. And I love that feeling. It's an era of movies we'll never see again. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Probably not, man. Yeah. yeah I was. I was going to say during the movie that you know it's just. I know they say it all the time, but it just doesn't seem like they make movies like this anymore. You know, they don't, dude. They really don't. I mean, don't. you know, case in point, they really don't. You know, you look at Scream Five, for example. Oh no! And <laughs> no, this is a valid reference. If you look at like just as there an example, <laughs> and they're supposed to be going to Stu Mocker's house, they can't even pony up the money to go film in Santa Rosa at the actual location. So they have to build a, a fake house on a soundstage. And I'm sorry, but anyone who knows that movies knows that right. it was not real. It was not really the house. And, you know, you've got a garage instead of you have a bracelet instead of a garage. But, you know, here you see an actor laying out in the grass on AstroTurf that I'm supposed to believe is real grass. And I know it's not real grass. Pony up. You know, Steven Spielberg would have said, you know what? We're going to Santa Rosa. Wes Craven, we're going to go to Santa Rosa. If we're going to go to Stu's house, we're going to go to Stu's house. Yeah. You know, talk to the owner, write him a check. We're going to go film there for a week. Whatever. That's just my one example. There's a lot of other movies that. Yeah, it's like uh, Star Wars 7. I mean, they went the whole movie. You know, yeah. and all of a sudden, at the very end, they show Luke Skywalker, right. and he doesn't say a word. You know, yeah. pony up the money, and let's have Luke Skywalker in the movie. You know, yeah. And we all know they do have the money. Like, come on, <laughs> they do have yeah. the money. Right? They yeah. did make a movie similar to this, uh, based in Hawaii, where the kids go on an adventure. And I want to say it was called Ohana or something like that. I can't remember the name of the movie, but it was a couple of years. Like three or four years ago, it wasn't that far back. It was along the same Goonies type adventure, save the family, make some money. But it was uh, brought up to the 21st century with cell phones and stuff like that. I saw it on Netflix. It's it called. There's a movie called Ohana, um, I, and I also saw that there was a Goonies two. Were there was there anybody in the movie from the first Goonies and the Goonies two? I, Wayne says that it never got made. No, it didn't. Oh, it really? Got made. Mm-mm. I never saw it. Yeah. Yeah, I was just about to say. Yeah. Yeah, Philip. Philip was the first time you watched tonight. Did you like the movie, Philip? Tell us. Tell us if you liked it, man. What would you? Uh, if you had to rank it on a scale of one to five stars, what do you think? I th- I think like Scott, it 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 like stood up to the test of time it was fantastic you know young kids would love it because it's such an adventure you know finding a a map going down in the fireplace into tunnels uh a water slide you know finding a, a, a a pirate ship with treasure on it it's just fantastic i get five stars yeah five out of five yeah <clears throat> Sarah, we haven't heard from you yet. Talk to us. How do you feel to watch it again? <laughs> it's a six out of five. Obviously, this for me is a five out of five. Yeah. I don't actually own a lot of like physical media. So if I will spend the money to buy it and actually have it take up space in my home, then it's like a five out of five. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. This one I actually think I have on DVD and VHS because we had a VHS player in the car first and then a DVD player. Ah, uh, mm-hmm. yes. Uh, Philip says he gives it a 10. So there you go. 10 out of 10. There you go. Nice. That's great. Um, Wayne says it never happened. There were, it was going to be all the original kids back as adults helping their own kids. Oh, uh, yeah. that would have been cool. That would have been really cool. Wow. All right. Um, Kyle. Uh, Kyle. Yeah, Kyle. What do you oh. think, man? Oh, it's like 80s classic. I can watch this over and over again. It's a lot of fun. It's a blast and great cast. 
Just, <laughs> just love the way it's shot, and I give it a five out of five. It's just how many times time. have you seen it? Yeah. Oh, more than I count, but it's more more than twenty five times at least. <laughs> it's, it's Kyle, you remind me of my brother, and my brother. This is his favorite movie of all time. The I can see that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, me too. That's cool. I thought I thought Tron would be up there for him though. Uh, no, this is my other brother, uh, <laughs> uh, Travis. Not oh, okay. oh, I was I thinking Nick as well. No, this is Travis, my my middle brother on my dad's ah, side. Gotcha. It's his favorite movie of all time. Anytime there's a, a movie that comes out and you ask him what his favorite movie is, it's Goonies. Well, now you got to ask Nick if Tron is his favorite movie. I will. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll uh, try to get him on one of the Movie Bros uh, pod, uh, movie uh, watches, and, and you'll be on there, and you can ask him. Yeah, if it's a little sci-fi, I think he'll come. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be great to have him on. That'd be fun. Yeah. Uh, Marcus, why do you think about the movie, man? Got to give him, like... Delay. I loved it. Um, I've only watched bits and pieces of it growing up. I would say I only watched bits and pieces of it growing up. So watching it in its entirety now, like this movie was amazing. Like I would definitely watch it over and over again. Yep. Yeah. I think it's fun to watch a movie like this to see the influence it had on other movies where they took bits and pieces or scenes or catchphrases and then mm-hmm. implanted them in their own movies. Just like, I wonder if anybody's going to notice I'm stealing this from Goonies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You see a lot of that in like the star Wars movies and Goonies and rebel without know. a cause. Yep. And like karate kid wax on wax off. <laughs> karate kid is everywhere in our culture. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> I love what, that movie. Three of them before the series. Well, there's, we I mean, there's, there's Cobra four Kai total. Four karate kids. The last uh, one I don't, I don't really consider a karate kid. Uh, Will Smith's kid, karate kid. No, no, no yeah. not that one. Uh, no. I, I don't count that one either. Uh, no, but there was karate kid one, two, and three. Mm-hmm. And then there was the karate kid four with Hillary Swank. Yep. Mr. Didn't Miyagi trained. Uh, when Daniel, so Mr. Miyagi is still in that one. So that's still canon for me. Um, it's it's not a bad movie, but it's just you know was you're never going to replace Michael uh, Ralph Macchio. Right. You know, Swipe leg, to, yeah, yeah. It wasn't the same. Still a decent little movie, but yeah, the the Cobra, the, the Karate Kid was the first. I mean, honestly, I like all all, all I do like all, all three of them with with Ralph Macchio, but the first two especially were really I thought really really well done and. And that first one, I mean, I remember seeing them all in theaters, and I will never forget how, like, when I left that theater, I said, I want to be in karate. Like, I, like, Mom, Dad. Guess what? I need to be in karate. <laughs> yes, please. And, you know, they, you know, they're great sports. Uh, you know, I'm not an athletically, God did not make me to be an athlete, okay? I know my limitations. Uh but they, you know, but they're like, okay, so they actually put me in Taekwondo classes for like six months, and I got three belts. <laughs> so I got like, okay, that was all right. You no, know, I'm gonna stop now. But it was fun while, nice. while, while I did it. <laughs> Do you remember the first movie where people actually clapped at the end of a movie? Ooh. For me, the first movie I ever went to in the theaters where people actually clapped at the end of it. Mike's gonna love this. Was Empire Strikes Back. People actually clapped at the end of that movie. They're so excited that it was there. It was so much excitement from the beginning of the movie. There's a kid sitting in front of us that kept saying, every time a character would come on screen, he'd go, Luke Skywalker. And so every time they'd walk on, finally we tapped him on the shoulder. I said, kid, you got to be quiet. We know the characters. We don't need your help. And the production is really fun. (laughs) Oh. But we, well. it was everybody clapped at the end of it. It was it was really weird because it you know I'm a kid. I'm like, do people really do that? And I'm like, okay, well I'll clap too. It was a good movie. I enjoyed it. I'm looking for the next one. And then shortly thereafter, we got the third one. That's awesome. Yeah, 
I uh, I remember distinctly watching Back to the Future in the Willowbrook Mall Theater and clapping yep. at the end of the Back to the Future. I remember that. I was I was I was like ten when it came out, and right. uh, I do remember clapping in that movie, uh, which was pretty cool. Which is you know what a great movie. You're talking about masterpiece. Oh my gosh, that's a Back masterpiece to the Future. Ooh, yeah. Man, that's one I would love for us to do a watch party on. Such a wonderful movie. I wish I would have kept the same girlfriend through all three movies, but yeah, I had a problem with that too. Yeah, it's really yeah. Yep. It's true. But yeah, so good. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, this has been Steve, a lot of fun. What's that? You want to ask um I shot him six times what's going on with his channel this week? Well, yeah, go right ahead. Yeah, let's do it. All um, right. Marcus, tell us what's going on with your channel. Sixty second delay. Well, so. I have a sick <laughs> movie review coming up. I watched that movie Sick from Behind, produced by Kevin Williamson. So I have that review coming up. I have a review coming up for the fan film house. Um, in context. Because you know, about, what thirty-seven days away now, so mm -hmm. you know, got to keep you know, ready for March ten. Oh yeah, yep, that's right. Um, awesome, man. Got to keep it coming. I'm enjoying your uh, your theories, Marcus, as always, and uh, so I'll, I'll be looking forward to to uh, seeing your final predictions here in a couple of weeks, or uh, whenever you start getting ready to put those out. I'm putting mine out the first week of March, probably. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing that. And and just so you know, no, and Marcus, especially for you, since I know you do a lot of content creating with Scream, um, tonight while we're watching the movie, they dropped a new TV spot for it that looks like it might be the Super Bowl ad. And it looks like they are spoiling another kill. So just letting you know before you see it, Ooh. Um, I already, Ooh. I've already got a glimpse of it. So, um, it does, it doesn't necessarily like definitively show you a kill, but you can Ooh. kind of see where it's going. <laughs> Unfortunately, just FYI, just be careful. I just want to give you a warning if you see it. So I'm going to do a video on it. It'll be out tomorrow morning. Right. Uh, actually, when we get done here, I'm going to start working on it. So I'll have it out 9am tomorrow, central time. Where I will gotcha. I will show the scene. It's in the trailer. I mean, I'm not spoiling. It's there. I'm yeah. not leaking anything. It's public out for the public. But uh, I will put a warning in there before I show the scene. But um, is it a flashback? Is it a dream the, sequence? We just don't know. Look at it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> there you go. What's that, Marcus? <laughs> what? No, oh, definitely. Okay. Thank you for that plug, buddy. Because I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look out for it, and I'm gonna take a look at it, and probably get on it yourself. Yeah, I just want to let you know. Yeah, because it just happened while we were watching the movie, so it's it's, it's brand new. So, um, and Kyle, what do you got going yep. on over on Return of the Living Flat? Let um, us know, Kyle. Um, well, you, tomorrow, well, first I will say you can catch me on Guerrilla Hunting Channel tomorrow. We'll be doing a trivia all all horror trivia but Ooh. this but this sunday and i and steven mark is gonna love this nice. i'm part of good real hunting scream review series so my scream 1996 review drops sunday at 11 a.m my time so nice. and then and then you can on the 11th i bring on kill joy jake we'll be talking about scream nice. six and his scream film red right hand that's gonna yes. be a lot of fun and stay tuned for other awesome nice. content that's going to be will be announced soon. So, and I just reached 250 subscribers. So. Yay! Nice. Kyle at 250. That's so awesome, man. So happy for you, buddy. Yeah. Marcus has clipped so. 600. Mark, Michael, where are you at on the carbonite now? You're 700, right? You 742. Seven? Yeah. 742. I think hey, I'm Kyle. like seven. <laughs> Kyle, yeah. uh, Scott was asking what kind of content you do. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I was asking what time zone he's in. Oh, oh sorry. I'm, I'm mountain time. Mountain time, okay. Nice. And 
I have to say, our own Movie Bros React channel here, guys. We uh, we've got eight subscribers since we did our live start of this live stream earlier. Nice. So we're up to five sixty-two. Nice. We're oh, on our climbing that ladder, man. One link at a time. You guys are helping us get the to get to that thousand number. We're gonna get it this year. I'm just determined. We are determined to hit one K this year, and uh, that's exciting stuff, guys. This is, I'm happy for everyone's growth and success. It's, it's, it's a wonderful thing. Uh, and just real quick, I want to mention while I have you guys here on Saturday, in just a couple of days from now, Saturday night. I was going to ask you about this. Uh, oh, yeah. Thanks, Michael. Yeah, I just thought yeah. I'd jump in there real quick. And on Saturday night, let me take this banner off here because it blocks some of the stuff. Oh, here we go. Uh, I will be hosting Jacqueline Gertz, who is the stunt double for Mia Goth nice. in the movie X. And Samara Weaving stunt double in Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 1. And also the movie Snake Eyes, where Samara Weaving was in. She was her stunt double. And one of the questions I'm going to be asking her Saturday night is, could she be her stunt double in Scream 6? We'll have to find out. I don't know. But either way, there she is in makeup. Look at her Look at her as Mia Goth as Pearl. Isn't that incredible? Wow, that's, that's, incredible. Incredible. that's her makeup. It's amazing. <laughs> And there she is on the right next to Samara Weaving. Um, so she's going to be joining me Saturday night, first-time guest. We're going to talk about her experience with Ty West, with Mia Goff, filming the, the movie, and, of course, with Bruce Campbell and Samara Weaving and all the stories. And she's done a ton of stuff. I mean, tons of stuff. The Black Christmas remake, The Meg. Uh, she's been on tons of television Radio shows. Yeah, I mean, just, just her, and IMDb is crazy on her credits. So I'm very excited about that. And then I want to say also, I don't have a, uh, actually, if you give me two seconds, I might be able to upload it really quickly. Well, before we all go, because I just made it yesterday, but coming up on, um, next Saturday, this is a special thing here because I've got a back to back situation going on. I've got, uh, I've got Jacqueline coming to Saturday. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. Um, and finally, here she is. I just need to upload it. Um, next Saturday after that, which is the 11th, to the following week, I've got Amy Donald, who plays Megan in the, nice. in the, in the movie Megan. Uh, she actually plays the, the, the Megan character. And so she's going to be joining me a week from Saturday on the 11th at 9 p.m. Central. So it's a back-to-back -back weekend for Craving Something Scary with, with special celebrity guests. So I hope you all tune in for it, both did of you, them. Did you think that – how did you get in touch with her in the first place, and did you think she would come on? <coughs> well, um, basically, I had reached out to her, uh, to her through social media, and it turns out my friend Ken over at Sledgehammer Horror um, is friends with uh, the family. And so – Ken said, oh, man, so Ken sent her a message and said, hey, my buddy Craven's about to contact you. You need, you need, you know, he's a great guy, blah, blah, blah. You should definitely check out, you know, you know, go on a show. So I sent him an email and, uh, I mean, so I messaged her and, and I messaged her back. I said, hey, P.S., I'm also Ken's friend. <laughs> and they're like, and her mom responded back, like, you know, <laughs> later that day. And was like, oh, yeah, Amy would love to come on your channel and. And so it all kind of unfolded from there, but I never would have dreamt it. Honestly, that that's pretty, pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, I, I saw something today or yesterday where they had, you know, they were mentioning it on Jimmy Fallon and like on major TV networks and stuff. Oh yeah. You know, the, the show. So it's going to oh, yeah. be huge. And that's awesome. They already get an interview right after the movie too. So exactly. that's the other thing. Yeah. The timing of it is pretty darn cool, you know, yeah. to be, because Megan is still in theaters, people are still, you know, and, and so it's it's yeah. The timing is really, I'm really thankful for. Catch it while it's hot. While it's hot, yeah. Well, so that's going to be the Chucky of our time, of this yeah. time, this era. This era is Chucky. I think so because yeah. they've already greenlit the sequel for 2025, Megan 2.0. And I wonder if they'll have her again. I hope so. I won't be, we won't be able to talk about anything in the future, you know, obviously yeah. in NDAs, but. But hope, but hopefully she'll be able to to be in it. And I mean, I would, I would think so. It's kind of hard with child actors because they always grow up, you know. That's so. the other thing. You're right. Well, 
Maybe they're gonna make a teenage Megan. Should we maybe to grow, to <laughs> maybe we along. could all beat CGI? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. true. That's true. But anyway, guys, yeah, that's what, and Michael, how about you, man? You got well, you got something coming up soon. Yeah, I got a uh, a person who is a Star Wars fanatic. His name is just Star Wars or JSW. I will be doing a live stream with him tomorrow, and we're gonna yeah. kind of follow what Kyle had us do, where we uh, rank our least favorite Star Wars all the way to, to the first, and also we'll be doing some Star Wars news. Um, the new Star Wars Jedi Survivor video game. Uh, we'll be talking about that uh, as it has been uh, pushed back. It was supposed to be released this month, yeah, but it's been pushed back. And also, um, the actress that played Ray, and my mind's totally blank. Anyway, she played Ray in the in Star Wars uh, sequels. She is wanting to come back into the new Star Wars movie. Uh, I guess the the three series that they're going to have coming up mm -hmm. soon in 2004, 2005. So we'll be talking about that on my uh, uh, live stream tomorrow about 1 o'clock Mountain Standard Time, 2 o'clock Central Standard Time. Thank so, you for that, Mike. <laughs> yeah, I had to do that. <laughs> so if you're, uh, if you're free and you want to, you know, come talk to us and, and ask us some questions or just listen to us chat, you know, and uh, we'll we'll be there. So I'm I'm pretty excited. It'll be my first live chat with another person who's like focused strictly on Star Wars, and they probably won't mention Scream one time. And that's a tragedy. Never. <laughs> what a tragedy. Promise. Man. <laughs> well, if you want me to introduce them to Scream, you just you lay, I'll pop in, give no, them a rundown. You just no, let me know, buddy. No brainwashing. Oh no! I mean, the cult of Craven, baby. It's real. It's real. Yeah, the next time uh, I see him, he's like a he's like a member, the fifty dollar member. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, he's he's not. I'm just waiting Star for a Wars. screen Darth Vader mask is what I'm waiting on. Ooh. Actually, I talked to a guy today who I work with who does a 3D printer, and I asked him how hard it would be to make either a Kylo Ren mask, not a Kylo Ren, but a, a Mandalorian <laughs> mask, or a uh, Sky, uh, Luke Skywalker X-wing fighter helmet. So he's going to look into that. And, and possibly try to make it for me. So I'm. You I'm could just so, talk to my daughter. Uh, she's got access to a 3D printer. Are you serious? Well, several. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Man. <laughs> Probably not supposed to say that out loud. Maybe. But you. Uh, Michael's birthday is July 26. <laughs> interested. <laughs> Scott knows he always gives me a card. Oh, yeah. I know what his birthday is. It mine's before his. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh. And, okay. and two years before. Awesome. Uh, well, guys, listen, I know it's getting late. Thank you all so your, for your time. And thank you. Um, to everyone on, on the chat, we really appreciate you uh, for being here tonight. We hope you had a good time. Be watching our polls that, that come out pretty much daily. Mm -hmm. We'll be having a new poll up probably on Monday for our movie watch party for next Thursday. Correct. So you can all vote and uh, let us know which – you would like to choose like you guys chose goodies tonight so we watched it and uh so stay we'll, tuned we'll and for everyone have, oh good okay. we'll also have polls the fall the the whole week um <laughs> that will hit the 80s 90s 2000 and 2010s all against each other and it's fun to to vote and see who wins wins for that day yes and soon we'll probably do instead of having a watch party We'll do some of these battles, and you'll do live stream where we're battling it out and making our cases for the best and worst. Oh, well, that'll be fun. Decades. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Dino, thanks so much for being here tonight. We appreciate thanks, you, know, man. You're, you're awesome. Such a strong supporter. Very much. It's always good to see and speaking you, of Dino, Dino's it is, fun. man. You're so right, Marcus. It is. Dino's always, always making his presence known. We appreciate it. And I um, also want to thank, again, all of our patrons. You guys are, are, are superstars of the channel, and uh, we really appreciate all that you do for us every month and your faithful support. You guys are, are amazing. 
uh, and Kyle, we're get we're going to get a slide updated tonight so that you'll be ready for the next one to have you back up there on our top tier level, which is amazing, Kyle. Thank yeah, you. Thank you, You're Kyle, welcome. for upgrading very, your membership to the top tier today. We appreciate that. You got in the You're chopper and you moved to the force. You got That's in the right. chopper. Yes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and Sarah, we want to thank Sarah for becoming a patron tonight on the yeah, stream. Thanks, that was very Sarah. kind of you. And thank you again. We appreciate your support. You're awesome. And, you know, you guys, uh, you guys just really keep us motivated and you keep, you know, I always use it on, on my Craven channel about pouring gas in the tank analogy and you guys are doing it for us over here. So it really does help Mike and I keep being in, in, you know, encouraged to continue and, you know, doing the polls, doing the shorts and just trying to create new content. So thank you guys, seriously, from our, our hearts. We appreciate you all so much. Thank you, Scott and Marcus. Thanks for uh, coming and, and yeah, having fun with us on this uh, Goonies adventure. So, heck yeah, we really yeah, appreciate thank you for having us. Yeah, it was the a real 80s, pleasure. The eighties live forever. forever. They will live and ever. <laughs> yes. All right. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, everybody in the chat. I know it's getting late. We'll see you backstage for our little ten second goodbye privately. But for everyone else. Thank you guys for being here tonight. We appreciate you. Don't forget next Thursday night. We do it every Thursday, 9.30 p.m. Central Time, 8.30 p.m. Mountain Time, every single Thursday night. Uh, and <laughs> what, uh, Scott, do you want to say something real quick? Am I seeing... Ted Lasso's coming out soon, and I can't wait. I'm sorry. Oh. They haven't announced it, but it's it's they're just teasing us. That's and Apple just, TV, right? Season three. Yep. Apple TV. I've been told to watch that series by many people and I've not seen it yet. I've been told to it watch is, it. It is worth an Apple membership. Wow. Just to watch that series. It's My dad, that. who's a coach, told me to watch it. So, uh, well, it's, we need to bite the bullet and watch it, I guess. I keep, everyone keeps telling me that. They're like, you need to watch Led Lasso. I'm like, oh, I know. I let my membership lapse. And when it comes out, when they announce it, I'll, I'll re up just to watch that. Nice. Best thing they've ever put out on Apple Plus. By far. Oh. Maybe I'll watch it this weekend or and start watching an episode and getting it going. Because, I mean, you know, if it's good quality entertainment, it's hard to find, especially with some series these days. So, Mike, I'm telling you, this is right up your alley. It's not Star Wars, but it's got Mike written all over it. <laughs> nice. All right. All right. If they sold it on DVD, Mike, I would already given it to you for Christmas. That's how much I believe it's you. <laughs> Wow. All right. <laughs> I'll check it out. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, listen, thanks again. We appreciate you. One more time. This is Steven. And this is Michael. And we are the Movie Bros. Good night, everyone. Night. Uh -huh.